Welcome, hello, folks. Have you ever had a play where you had it all planned and it worked exactly as you had planned it? However, you were not in it. Now, in this video, I will show you how to avoid that FOMO, secure a plan for an entry in order to avoid that, that FOMO that you were just that were just missing. So basically, something that has taken off without you and where can it where can I enter something well that that play in without a well with minimizing risks. Now this is LMT defense stock. Currently, the world situation is really helping the Fed stock. Um, if you look at this, this is a daily chart. Now, I will show you something. When you look at this chart, you should see something like this, right? See something that has a resistance at a, such a level, which is 398.90. And let's get closer to that because last week we played it. Um, we had a two-week two week play. Um, that we entered um, about two weeks ago and we decided to close it on Thursday as it was and I'll show you right here basically the line I just showed you um, if you guys missed it I'll go back just for a second just for you guys see how if this is the first video you guys are watching with me this is a resistance you're getting here resistance again here resistance again there right you still see that right it's on this it's on a daily chart so each candle is a day um now i'll zoom in still on the daily chart i'll zoom in to closer to today and we alerted two weeks ago and i took a decision you see how we're hitting the same line again it gets rejected and it got rejected there again decided to alert the exit there it was very close to the uh last day before expiration not crossing the line that we had however on the next very next day on friday it decided to take off but really take off now um i could have re-entered as soon as we crossed this line right this line as soon as we cross this line we entered the bull side bull side is where there is very little resistance to the upside however this was friday uh basically i just watched it and this video is all about what do you do when you just watch it go up you missed it okay so be it however how can i re-enter this play with a good strategy this is what i want to show you here and let's change this to a shorter time frame. Um, put that in a five minute. And this is today what happened. Let's say at the beginning of the day, if you look at the chart, this is the end of Friday. You know, we all saw this line as soon as we cross. And just to recap a little bit of that line that we talked about see on Friday morning how it broke pre-market and then as soon as it broke it here it came above it now it tested it as a support and then it took off now this setup here above pre-market high goes up uses pre-market high as support and it was our long-term breakout point this on Friday was the very uh, it's it's an extremely good setup for a an, a good entry. As soon as you see that it bounces on that, you're good to go. Um, however, I missed it, and I watched it go all week, all day. Sorry, knowing that in this right here, I I exited. We had the three nineties, and obviously here we were in the four tens and even four fourteens at one point. So you know it's quite a quite a way up in the money. No matter so be it let's look for a proper entry now on this morning monday morning it had a huge gap up remember i talked about above resistance now this is the current resistance right you all agree with this right so big gap up you see that 
it came down at the end of the day to support. I'm just showing, you know, the yellow line here, now it's blue, but you know, the yellow line is showing you support. What I was looking at is, and we'll do this together, is this, right? It tried to get up to a certain point here. It didn't try to get up to a certain point. It didn't, and then some profit taken at the end of the day, and it remained flat, right? So this, between this line and this line, to me is support for anything that gets higher. We opened super high. So what I was looking for when I saw this, when I was doing this pre-market, when I saw this, I'm like, oh, wouldn't that be great if we started coming back down to bridge the gap on the way back, on the way down, and then we start bouncing on the way up after that. Mm. So you look at this, there was an upgrade, there was, um, a lot of talks about defensive stocks and a huge gap up morning right so many things going your way we are on the buyer side remember that we were we crossed previous day the buyer side so what i was looking for is let's make this let's make this a little cleaner something that would you know i'm, I'm looking at the market at this area because i'm prepping my day before the bell right so i'm like okay if we get a pullback to previous support sometimes it's a very very defined line straight line sometimes it's a little channel like it is right now so we get a, uh, some downside to that support and a bounce so I'm ready for that. I have an alert set if we cross this line on the way down. However, look what it did, right? Let me zoom in a little bit for you here. Look what it did. I'll put the, the line for you in the area. You know, see how this is not crossing the top? Sorry, here. Yeah. This is the double top on the previous day. So basically, this is exactly what it did pre-market it dipped below the double top that we had on the previous day however look this is the open it opens up higher than the previous day no matter what it did here pre-market which shows volume and people buying higher we completely bridged a gap from top to the previous day double top now we're in to go at this level. Obviously, my point was to go, remember how we had a um, high of 433. Um, doesn't show now because we have a new high of 434, but um, trust me on that one. This was in the 433s, this guy here. So this two weeks out target to me, 430 was a very good entry uh, and, and strike because the target was possible to get back to this high that we had um, early in the day. Now, remember, what I was looking for is a pullback to bridge the gap all the way down. We did it because we opened exactly at the previous day high and we recovered to this level and then some. This is after hours, obviously, but you know, this line is pretty much that line. So we have two weeks out on this one. Um, unfortunately, the conflict in Europe is not done. There are still tensions in, in um, China versus Taiwan. So um, if you look at this chart, it is on a breakout 440s are more than possible because they're in the, this is high of uh, all time high, but just showing you, I missed out the entry on Friday. It was all planned. I was extremely positive about the outlook and the outcome that it would have been. So this creates a lot of FOMO. You miss out on the entry. Doesn't matter. Look for something else. Now this morning, looking at it, 
All I wanted was a pullback to the support. It did. I, was, I wasn't going to miss it twice. Hope this helped, folks. Take care.